Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. If you're new to the channel, I hope you find it useful and helpful in your designing process. Uh, and if you like what you see, please, by all means, don't hesitate to go down there and hit that uh, subscribe button. I really appreciate it. If you're a return viewer, thanks for stopping back by. And I hope you have enjoyed and uh, the content has been useful and helpful. Uh, and please, also, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, uh, do that as well. And return uh, subscribers and viewers, uh, again, uh, wow, uh, very, very humbling. Uh, thanks for all the comments, support. I really appreciate it. You, you guys are, are what keep me doing this, and I'll try and keep digging deeper and deeper to find new and interesting content and useful for you in your designing process. Uh, so uh, today, I thought we'd take a little step back and uh, talk about two commands. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the, the fillet command. Uh, we'll talk about this command, and we'll also talk about our blend curves command, and of course our, our parametric or dynamic uh, blends up here in the front. Uh, so those are the two that I thought we would discuss a little bit. I think everybody knows, uh, first, uh, first of all, I think everybody knows how to do trimming. They select the curves, they go to trim, and they just start uh, trimming off everything they don't want or super selecting it. Uh, you know, or dragging the box over it and selecting all the curves they don't want, right? Uh, that's uh, easy, you know, way to do it, of course. Uh, sometimes you get into uh, some areas where maybe you have surfaces and, and everything uh, that's harder to get to. Uh, you know, because when you click on it, you're trying to get your line and you're clicking on the surface. Sure, you could hide it and do all that, uh, you know, uh, get all the stuff hidden so that you could get in there and get to your curves. But there's also a command some of you may or may not know about. It's called connect. So I'm going to go down to my command line and type connect uh, and hit enter. Now, all I have to do is uh, I have to click on the curve inside curve that i want to keep and the inside curve and then it just automatically takes that way bring it back go to my corners there uh, select this curve and this curve and i could just go around and uh, trim all that stuff off that uh, i don't want right so it, it's uh, really uh, useful sometimes. 90% uh, no, of the time, you can probably just use your trim command. But there are times where you might want to get in there and do something like this, which makes it really, really quick, really easy. Uh, and you don't have to worry about grabbing a bunch of other stuff. You're just clicking on your lines. Uh, so it, it, it's really a, a nice command to, to be aware of. So that's called connect. Uh, and again, one more time, just so we're aware. Uh, you, you have to type in the command, connect, uh, hit enter, and then you click on the line inside. I want to keep this and this part, right? So I click here and here, and it'll get rid of that. Okay, so hopefully that'll help you. Uh, and uh, now let's move over to uh, play. And some of you probably didn't know, uh, maybe. Uh, I know I didn't for a long time. And please, if you see me not using this at times, please remind me to uh, use it because it's actually a, a pretty cool command. So we'll go into our fillet and we'll just click our fillet curves, right? And of course, you, everyone I think already knows I have a blend of three. We'll change that to uh, we'll change that to a two. You can change how how far your blend is. I'm sure most of you already know that. Uh, and then when you do fillet, you you click here on that curve and that curve, and it'll it'll get there and bring it back and just work your way around, right? If they're not connected, right? Uh, so you could do that. Uh, now let's see, I'll go ahead and grab all these here and just delete them and I'll type in that connect one more time and get rid of these edge curves here. All right. And so I have that. And also you can, if it's joined together, it's all one, one surface, right? You can use the cleanup command to fillet your corners, uh, fillet corners, uh, and just click on that, uh, hit enter. It'll ask you for a diameter. Let's click this one up to three and hit enter, and it'll fillet them all at one time if they're connected. If they're not connected, you'll have to do them individually, right? I'm sure most of you already know that, but <clears throat> you can also fillet curves that are closed. So if I go to this one and click here and click here, well, I broke the command. Okay, so I brought back 
of play by right clicking I click this one and this one oops I keep on clicking the wrong thing sorry this one and one more time this one and this one I'm not getting it unable to play right there is a there is a, a parameter on this they have to be fairly close together so I bring it back again and hit it now I, I got a curve right so you have to be a little cautious when using this uh, they have to be fairly close together so let's move them kind of close together and then do it again. So I bring back my fillet, click on this side, click on this side, and now it comes over there and I can come to this side and click on this side, right? And now they connect in the tangency, right? So now what I can do is just select those two outside curves that I just placed and then go to trim and then just get rid of that. And now I have that and then I could just actually take it all and join it together. Uh, join it together and now it's one closed surface right so that's uh, that's another uh, useful command uh, so but they do have to be fairly not too far fairly close together let's take both these and let's make them a little smaller here uh, and now let's run that fillet command one more time we'll go to fillet this is just the normal fillet command and we'll click here and we'll click here there we go and then we'll click on this side here and then this side here so that's that's pretty cool uh so you can fillet circles you can also fillet lines to uh circles and they will actually trim for you too check this out it's, it's using fillet like a, as a blend uh so let's take this uh and uh, fillet your curve and we'll put trim yes and uh join no so down here you know you can click no or yes we'll, we'll put them both to yes and we'll keep it at an arc you can also have it as a line uh and we'll keep this one at a line well we'll keep we'll change it to arc smooth okay smooth or line arc or line so we'll, we'll change this one to a smooth and then uh we'll uh let's see i got it selected so i'll select on this curve and then i'll select on this one and it'll actually trim it away and join uh join them together uh i you know i just recently kind of found out and stumbled onto this so uh it's pretty cool you can also play uh curves like this right i uh, just go from here to here and it'll automatically bring it up and it'll join it together automatically uh so that's another thing usually what we do uh well let's keep on moving sticking with the yeah i think that's pretty much it uh you know that's so that's using kind of fillet as a blend right you can use it as a blend on closed things and you can use it on a blend as open on open things and if you hit join and uh join down here yes and trim no it'll automatically join and trim those together and of course you can select different uh, lines or arcs you can play around with those and check those out and see what they do for you of course uh so i'm going to back out of that command there and now let's go to normally when we do a blend we do a blend you know like this uh, and i hope someday they uh kind of work this one out uh, where you don't have to flip them all the time uh, so let's bring that back. Let's select that end. Let's. I want to bring it down to here, and that one's kind of jacked. That's our second curve. So we'll go over here to our second and flip it. And of course, you do the the blend right, however you want it, and then you get it. And uh, uh, no uh, join curves off. You can put them on, and then we'll hit enter, and now it's all one curve, right? That's kind of how most of us do it. We also have the blend down here uh, that you can click on, right? Uh, and it'll just actually throw it on out there for you. And then you have to go back and turn on points and edit it or whatever if you want to. But uh, you also have in your blend uh, adjustable blend, which is really cool. Uh, and right here, it, it automatically puts it up there uh, and you can go from here to here and it brings up whether you want it on tangency, which will change it, uh, position, which is straight, right? We all know position is only two points. Uh, tangency is too deep. Uh, and then curvature is usually three deep. Uh, and then, of course, we have the G, uh, G3 and G4. So you can play around with those. We're going to keep it uh, curvature. We'll just keep it on curvature. Uh, and of course you can flip those and of course right here you can click trim yes and join yes or no turn those on or off 
Uh, but now what you can do is you can go in and manipulate your curve and drag it around to get a more uh, surface uh, that you or a curve that you're looking for. You know, maybe something a little bit different. Uh, you can also, uh, if you hold down shift and click on a point, you can manipulate both those at one time. Uh, and then when you hit, uh, hit click on, to, you have to right click or left click to get off that. So if I hold down shift and click on it, I, I can let go of the key and I can, or the mouse button and just drag it around. But I have to hit it again to get off of it, right? And then if you go ahead and hit uh, OK, it automatically trims that and joins that. So that is uh, the bomb. <laughs> That's a really useful cur uh, tool. Uh, also in curves, you have, uh, let's see, uh, adjustable uh, blend arc, right? So we go to the blend arc and we take this one and this one. And it's hard to see, uh, but if I click on this, you can see my curvature graph automatically pulls up. So I can kind of watch my curvature graph uh, with my uh, arc, right? To find out my uh, um, continuity of my curve. So, you know, if you're really wanting a, a certain type of curve, when you click on it, you can line it up. There we go. And now if I click on this, you can see my continuity is very, very nice, right? So the, the curve is very, very smooth to my uh, surface and you can kind of move it around or whatever. Uh, and then just, uh, I don't think, yeah, it has join yes, trim yes. So it'll automatically take those together. So, uh, and then it's joined together. Uh, I think that's it. I, th I don't know why I have an extra pair out there. Uh, but there's there's a lot there. Uh, oh, one other thing. Um, I think we kind of did it here. Uh, go to your fillet. Uh, let's see. I think we already did this, though. Fillet, and then you can fillet all of them at one time since they're joined together. Point three. We'll just hit enter, and it plays them all. I think we did that with this one here. But that's a little uh, kind of tips and tricks, uh, different things uh, maybe you haven't uh, experimented with. Uh, I highly recommend you kind of check them out and play around with them because they, they can be pretty useful. Uh, the connect, cur you know, it can come in handy at times and the, these blend type options that you have available are, are really uh, useful. So I hope you find the video found the u video useful and helpful. And if you did, uh, please, please uh, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, and uh, um, hit that like button and share with your friends. Yeah, share. <laughs> uh, you know, I hope it helps. So uh, good designing, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it very much.